<laughs> here we are. Good to be back. I think I was, was, was I here last week? No, I was in, I was in Chicago last week. Yeah, I was in Iowa. Watching Penn State beat Iowa. Boo. Yep. Welcome um. back. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, we yeah, all, we all miss Gene. disappointing. We are uh, back together in person. It's it One sucks more time. to go all the way home just to see your team lose to Penn State. That's twice in three years they've done that. So, oh well, very disappointing. But I'm back. Hey, I will beat. I know it's not on your rundown. I will beat Purdue this week. So good job, Hawkeyes. All right, well, even you know Purdue's terrible. I do have a college football section. Uh, only has uh, Wisconsin. Oh, I know. So uh, that that uh, okay, I won't say. It, but that was shocking. That's all. Very shocking. Uh, yes, indeed, it was. And all right, so uh, this is the Midwest Sports Show, and uh, my name is Chris Stotts, and then that's Hello. Gene Steichen. Yeah. And uh, Gene, you know, I was uh, reminiscent today. You were about. Uh, you shouldn't do it too often uh, because, because uh, then you're not looking full full forward <laughs> enough. Yeah. Yeah, I reminisce quite a bit too. So. <laughs> Hasn't really gotten you I anywhere. Think, yeah, I was looking at some old uh, pictures of you know, you in a felt costume, and I'm like, oh boy. All right, I well, uh, I a picture of me and Warren Buffett, and I was like, oh, I miss that guy. Although he's still alive, he just doesn't know I'm alive right now. I guess you were okay. you're you're hanging out with uh, World. I did. I Warren me, Buffett. Me and Warren Buffett used to be. Well, I guess used he to be neighbors. St- he would still know who I am. I think from what I know, our, my picture, our picture with him, are, is on his wall in his office. So. His bathroom wall. Uh, no, I believe his big office because I think 60 Minutes did a story on him and we're on his wall, something like that. <laughs> what? Well, we're with him and and he did a bunch of he did a bunch of press with us, and uh, we did all these brochures and we made shirts and he he was on all of them. So, hello, Warren. And uh, that's why he talked to you and took a picture with you. Yeah. Guys? Well, we spent I spent a weekend with him, me and the other guys. You know, doing what? <laughs> well, we had to launch the company. He owns he owns for Loom. So when we oh, when okay. he bought it, we went to Omaha and oh, uh, okay. All right. did a big launch. And then we recorded this movie uh, and I got to do the welcome, you know, all the stuff about having Warren Buffett. Yeah, I don't know. Just so, stuff. hey, there you go. Hey, That's, you know? That was me uh, reminiscing, but... Yeah, yeah. Those days are on. Well, Gene, I you know he probably wouldn't recognize you unless you're wearing a Leaf costume. Yeah, so, that's uh, right. You'd be yeah. like, oh yeah, no, no, I remember. But you. now today, I've traded in for University of Iowa sweatshirt, which can also be misinterpreted for University of Illinois. Yeah, uh, or, or uh, Idaho. For is that team too? I don't know. Is Indiana's IU, but mm. all right. Well, Gene. Yes. We have. Uh, we have a lot to talk about. Okay. A lot's going on. Yeah. A lot of news going on. All right. And uh, we're going to start with baseball. Thank you, and we're, David. We're not going to be talking about the, the World Series that much. I, I'm, man, maybe it's because, you know, once you win or even the Brewers, it's such a painful loss for the Brewers. Maybe it's like, I, I don't want, it's hard to watch, isn't it? Uh, I even watched like one second. Of the baseball, I I I I even watched I I w- the Yankees were the Astros were beating the Yankees to go to the World Series, and I think I was watching Boise State BYU college football. I yeah, believe. I was uh I was basically um, living it through uh, Yankee fans that I follow. Oh, on uh, on Twitter, so huh. it's uh it's always uh, fun to do that. All right, so uh, but Gene. We yeah. we got a little 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 World Series news. Okay, we'll talk a little bit about some. I'm news. kind of root for. But uh, what's that? Uh, I think if the Astros win, that'd be painful. But it'd be painful for you if right. the Nationals won. Well, well, let's build up to that. Okay, let's build Why up to the big that? game because okay, it's on gotcha. Tuesday yep, tomorrow. Yep, I guess yep. would be today. Okay. And uh, Gene, maybe this is just a uh, Bill Plasky column. Plasky. Oh my column. gosh, he's still writing. Huh? But uh, did did the Angels pick up Joe Madden? They did. Three years, okay. fourteen million. Because uh, like I haven't that. seen this anywhere else on the news. It seems like yeah, they way they, down. It play. is. They. they <laughs> yeah, he's an angel. Uh and. Bless him. I mean, he got the Cubs a World Series, so. Oh so my was God. he getting paid fifty million for five years? I think three. No, it's a three-year contract. I think fourteen, Jeez. twelve to fourteen million. Oh, wow, which is a lot for managers these days, apparently. But, 
Angels, man, they got they need to try something. They're well, a mess. How many managers that have won a World Series are on the open market, right? I so absolutely. That's well, a Joe couple Girardi, million dollar bump yeah. right there. Yeah, Joe Girardi. Although yeah. apparently the Cubs aren't interested in him, I guess. Unless, yeah. Jeez, hometown. I guess you get scorned. Yeah, he went to Northwestern and he played for the Cubs. But he, he's a Yankee now, I guess, huh? Uh, no, he's gonna go. It looks like the Phillies, probably. Uh yeah. All Jordan. right. So jo- Joe Man to the Angels. Are, yeah. are you are you happy for him? Are you yes, happy? very happy. I'm glad he's in the American League because it would be that would be tough to watch if he was in the National League beating the Cubs because I think he's going to be great. The Angels though, wow, uh, yikes. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Good I think, luck, uh, Joe. But but you know what? He's a great manager and and, and uh, good luck. I love him. First, first of all, his first question is, uh, yeah, who, who's the uh, who's that intern that sold drugs to uh, Skaggs? I, I need yeah, I, I right. need a hookup. Yeah, oh, I don't know anyone. Exactly. I don't need. I don't know yeah. anyone in oh, oh, the OC. Hey, what's, he gonna, what's he gonna do with this? He just opened his restaurant this year <laughs> next to Wrigley Field. It's in Wrigleyville. Man, he's uh, hey, yeah. A, add, add sushi to the menu because he's uh, coastal now. Yeah, he's on. Didn't he used to uh, uh, coach for the uh, yes, Angels for too? many, 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 many was years? Was Sosha or no? Or is that a long yeah, time ago? Yeah, yeah, he was with Sosha, and then and then he could never. Get, they never promoted him. Then he finally got a job with Tampa Bay, and wow. That's, so yeah, I, well, I he think was with the. He didn't get a job till later on in life, really, because he's. Yeah. 65. I think, well, hey, you take the the, the Rays to the uh, playoffs, and then you yeah. take, uh, take the Cubs to win the World Series. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. pretty good. Even He's going to be good It's gut-wrenching to watch this guy play or come manage because it's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, we need to see eight pitchers in no, one inning? he's not the only one that a lot of teams yeah, – that's uh, – But he takes it He takes it to annoyingly level. No, he's and, a good And man. switching gloves. Oh, hey, Angels fan. <laughs> And he put. He was one of the guys. Get ready for a lot of plays where the players switch gloves. Yeah, on the fly. Uh, and uh, the uh, the pitcher goes in the outfield for one uh, batter. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he'll tear an ACL or something like that. So get finally get what's coming. He's to He's youthful. He's gonna be great. So good luck, Joe. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Right. I guess David. I don't know. Now the Cubs. I don't know what they're gonna do. I, I think the Angels get to at least. I think they're in the uh, ALCS next year. And I think they win what? a championship in four years. I can see that, right? No. He's he's got. <laughs> he's got Mike Trout. He's still got pool holes sucking up all the money. Well, I, what what they? It's not. He's like not gonna it, play. He's not gonna keep him in the lineup. He's like, hey, that's not my mistake. I, yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't think it. I don't think they have that many good players, but. Yeah, they have a high payroll. Yeah, come on. Supposedly they're going after Garrett Cole, so maybe. Yeah, yeah. everyone is going yeah, after Garrett yeah, Cole. Yeah, them and the Dodgers. All right, well, Gene, maybe this will cheer you up. Okay. Javi Baez. That was cool. Is on the cover. We're probably talking about two different things. On no, the cover. No, MLB 20. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. All right, I didn't know you were a gamer, Gene. I'm not. I know but you're plugged I don't, in. I think it's cool because, you know what? When he's on the cover, that, that video thing, or <laughs> what is it? It's a game. It's game? a video game. Well, that increases the chance of staying with the Cubs. How can, because he's so popular, <laughs> the Cubs can't. I don't. He's the one guy I don't want him what? to trade. Is, is he going to be? <laughs> what? I mean, if Chris, the, if Chris Mike Bryant, Trout for heavy BS. Well, he was on the no. cover of the game, oh, so I don't know if we can trade him now. I don't think so. It would look bad. I, I, if Chris Bryant got traded, that would be sad. But I could understand it. But I, not, not Javi. Keep I, Javi is kids love him. I think. <laughs> That's think, how you build future generations of fans. I think Chris Bryant was on the cover a couple of months, uh, uh, years ago, wasn't he? Yeah. Am I wrong I about know. that? Maybe. I, I don't know. That's This is the first I know of it. So, well, Gene, is there an MLB curse? I don't know. Just like there's a Madden curse? No. No. Javi Javi's the future. And it's great because look at all these kids. They're going to have Javi jerseys, so he's got to stay with the Cubs. Cubs got to just sign him forever. That's Gene, the, ki- ki- uh, the kids are playing Fortnite, okay? They're not playing MLB the show. You, well, how are we going to get new fans? There's a bunch of 40-year-old uh, dudes we who need uh, new, We need new fans. Playing this <laughs> no, game. No. No. Uh, um, no, we need new fans. Time to bring Sandberg to Chicago? Why I not? I think that... that Rhino. Chip, he did get new hair. He did the hair transplant <laughs> that Bosworth, but I don't think that that's going to win it. The Cubs had a chance to hire him when he was in the system for years, and they never did. It's that's not going to. Hey, r- 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 Ryan, r- he got Ryan, a chance with Philadelphia, and he got r- fired. Ryan, not Ryan. Yeah, your goofy ass name. Ryan Sandberg. The, the proof is in the pudding, buddy. 
He, I uh, no, that wouldn't fly with the you know. Yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, t- games changed a lot since the uh, National League, uh, what Central Division in the eighties. I uh, eighty four MVP year Ryan Sandberg. Yeah, things changed a lot, buddy. Okay. Well, what fifteen home runs? <laughs> no. How how did what, what was the stats? Could you break down? Yeah, was OPS? I, he probably. Oh, he was good that year. Yeah, yeah I bet I can Google that really quick. Sandberg I bet, OPS. I bet. I bet he uh, hit twenty five home runs. Uh, close. Hundred. I'll say uh, ninety RBI, and he's a Gold Glove second baseman. Remember, and he's a Hall of Famer. So, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't make him a manager. Although he tried. All right, eighty four. His MVP year. Yep. Yeah, eighty four. I'd uh, say it was very high. Better than oh over a thousand. Eight eight seven. That's no. it. Yeah. Wow. Yep. That's amazing because it seemed like I was, was one ni- of the best years. Ni- Nineteen home runs. Wow. Must have been for his offense, right? Two hundred hits though, so he had a lot of hits. Yeah. One hundred fourteen runs, and uh, played a bunch of games. All right. So all right. Uh, Oops. All right, did not plan on talking about Ryan Sandberg for five minutes on the show. Okay. We can move on. There you go. All right, Jim Lambert brought it up. So Jim, uh, Jim's a good guy. Jim, yeah, he's a he's a uh, from my hometown too, Lambert. All right, so uh, yeah, the Yankees were playing the Astros. Uh, the Yankees, of course, lost, uh, but not before CC Sabathia, former Brewer. Yeah, for got a one, cup, one got a couple year. of tosses in. Yeah. He was good with the Brewers. That, the Brewers could have won the World Series that year. Yep. Right? But the uh, well, the Phillies beat them, right, in the playoffs, who mm, so eventually yeah, won the uh, World been. Series. I... Uh, did not go quite as well as that season with mm. the uh, Brewers. Uh, CC was hurt, confirmed that he suffered. He uh, separated his shoulder. Separ- <laughs> Wait. Confirmed he suffered his shoulder subluxion, which I guess is a separated shoulder, on the final pitch to uh, whatever Diaz, some some guy on the Astros. He then threw three pitches to Springer with a partially dislocated shoulder. It felt terrible, he said, of uh, the at-bat to Springer. Uh, Yeah, man, you you got no one else on that bench that can throw better than the guy with a dislocated shoulder? (laughs) Yeah. And uh, by the way, I you know when someone even like walks, you know, takes a weird step, you know, the trainers for the Brewers are out there, like saying, "What's going on? Why did they let this guy pitch three times? Mm. Couldn't they tell that he was uh, a little hurt?" Yeah. Jen, any thoughts to this uh, guy? Goodbye, CC. <laughs> Cocoa didn't he eat Cocoa Puffs or he ate some cereal? I don't know. Well, hey, Gene, yeah. he may may have dislocated his shoulder, but at least he didn't dislocate his Jake. Right? Yeah, like he could have done that against the Mariners. Was that the team? Uh, could have been. All right. Uh, goodbye, da- Yankees. The All right. And then, really good. So yeah. the Yankees actually looked like they were uh, going to maybe, you know, send the seven games and uh, tied it up top of the eighth. And then, Gene, your old buddy. Yes. Your old friend, Araldus Chapman. Oh, my gosh. Comes I, up. So I actually, you know what? I didn't watch the game, but I tuned over right when he threw that home run. It it brought me back to speaking of reminiscing to Game Seven of the World Series when he gave up the home run to uh, Raja Davis to tie up the Cup game. Yep. Yeah. 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 He's uh, when it comes to like playoff spot, he's trash. Mm, he's that was a tough when one. When it's oh, uh, Altuva, I'll tell when, when it's May fifth. Yeah. When it's May fifth and it's like Game Four or sixteen, he's whatever. Man. Yeah, he he can do it. no problem. Yeah. No problemo. But uh, yeah, game six of the uh, NLCS. He's what he he hangs a slider, Gene. Yeah, he crushed it. I ain't exactly know him, Ryan, Ryan, but he hangs a slider to Altuve. He Altuve, he's smallest a guy. guy. <laughs> Man, he's got power though. Who, who's bigger, him or uh, Kyler Murray? For God's uh, sakes! Well, they're I bet I, I, I bet they're the back about the back. same size. They're both pretty. Now Altuve tall. has to be smaller, right? Yeah, I would think so. He's got to be five six. Oh, gee, no, he's got to be like 5'2", right? Or something like no, that? He, he can't be that short. I don't think. He, oh, he looks like he looks yeah. like a... Sp- All right. Hey, anyway. but he's, he's he's a better baseball player than any he, one of us. He's great. Anyone that you know is over six foot. Although, I would know. take Javi Baez over him. <laughs> All right. And then, uh, yeah, so Chad Main, of course, uh, proven wife abuser, wife beater. Yeah. Finally gets, uh, he gets knocked around himself a little bit. Mm. Too bad it didn't go right to his head. Yeah. Mm. 
And then, uh, yeah, so uh, Astros moving on to the World Series versus the uh, Nationals. Both good. They're both good. They, but, yeah. And, Gene, I don't know if you probably didn't see this, Gene, uh, but J.J. Watt. Yeah. They're playing Indianapolis. Yeah, I did see it. Com- Wait, he was wearing a— uh, Coming to the stadium in an Altuve jersey. I, I did see that. Yeah. Hey. This is Mr. Badger. I know. This is Mr. Wisconsin. Yeah. Mr. Buck. Yeah. But, uh, hey. He really plays to the crowd. It's exciting to play for a winner, right, Gene? Yeah. To cheer yeah. for a winner. He plays to the crowd. Well, this, this is what I'm saying. This, uh, you know, I don't understand these athletes that are just, hey, listen, just, Gene, if I was playing for the New York Yankees, you know, like tearing up and shit, mm-hmm. no way in hell would I be wearing a uh, Giants jersey or anything like that. I'd rather be like, you know, I'd rather just be, yeah, pr- bring the Aaron Rodgers jersey. Right. Right. How about a Yelich jersey, huh, JJ? You you, you wear one of those? Huh? <laughs> and is your brother, what's your I, brother, TJ? I don't know what his extent of TJ? Brewer knowledge is. So T- He's from Waukesha, for God's sakes. Oh, okay. Oh, he is? JJ Watt. We're oh, talking okay. about JJ Watt here. Yeah. He's from Waukesha. Oh, okay. And uh, what, his brother, TJ? Yeah. Plays for the Pittsburgh? Yeah. I'm I'm sure he's walking around with a uh, fucking uh, who, who's like oh Andrew what's that guy's name Andrew uh, McCutcheon jersey right all right <laughs> that's what I'm saying man I, right. these fake these fake athletes I, you know it's just listen be fake on your own time right that's don't, a lot of MLB smir- odds and ends for something we don't care that much about yeah all right so Gene who do you got in the World Series uh I I I don't know. Uh, the Nationals. I, I think guess. it's going to be the Nationals. Nationals are sneaky good. They can, yeah. like, they can hit. Yeah, they're good. They can hit. They're good. And uh, they and got then, luck on their side. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, amazing that they were so close to losing to the Brewers, and now they could win the World Series. I'm going to say Nationals. Nationals by four. Nationals and four. I'm going to say that. Right. I'm going to say well, it's a there sweep. There you go. All right. Nationals are a dangerous team. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then, Gene, we got college football next. Oh, my gosh. I, I, where was I? I was gone. I <laughs> cannot believe Wisconsin lost. Illinois is terrible. I mean, they're historically bad. They, Lovey Smith is on his way to getting fired. He's probably still, maybe this, I, I can't, well, maybe he saved his job. But, wow, how they lost that game. They were 35-point favorites, I think, or something like that. Did not watch one second of this game, I didn't Gene. either, but, ha. Huh. Well, first of all, what what when did the the, uh, the fighting in the Illini, When did their jerseys turn gray? For God's oh, sake! Oh, I know that's a not. Like, what? Like, where'd that come from? How, how about you got a cool orange? How about you do bright orange? Yeah, huh? How about that? Or neat. blue? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're gray now. What I mean, what's going on? Yeah, and the worst thing about that loss is uh, <laughs> that's the only thing I can comment. ESPN on, is game day was all set because Wisconsin's at Ohio State this week. That was going to be the epic showdown and now espn game day is going to south dakota state oh. the jackrabbits <laughs> against north dakota state get that get that they, they get that shot from, of mount rushmore they, in the back they, they went from being in columbus for two undefeated teams to going to south dakota which is like division fcs series or whatever that is there's yeah. no other big game this week that they can well, why not they, go to they the like going to those little towns sometime i went northwestern they're both, like you guys are both. So what? Ohio State lost the game. No, well? no, oh, they're, they're undefeated. undefeated. They're oh, rolling. Okay. Yeah. All right, Gene. I, I'm so glad I don't care. But that's what I'm saying. Like this is this, this college football thing. Who cares? It's like these are mm. these are just kids. Ohio State's good though. I'm rooting for the Big Ten all the Oh yeah. yeah. And then uh, speaking of uh, uh, what do you call it? Lovey Smith. Oh, oh Gene, I got one more baseball story for you. Oh my God, I can't believe I skipped this. We gotta go back. But uh, speaking of Lovey Smith, uh, he uh, strikes the I, – I totally forgot Lovey Smith was still the coach. Yeah. Well, it wasn't going to be for much longer, but, but thanks to Wisconsin, it might be another year now. And, Gene, I remember when Lovey Smith got ho- hired by the uh, Bears. Yeah. Was it like in 02 or something? Yeah, like that? Or 03 probably. or something like that? Yeah. He said his number one goal, number one, would be to beat the Packers on opening day, week right. one. Yeah. And I I knew I was like, yeah, this guy this guy knows what he's talking about. He knows exactly what Bears fans want. Yeah. And here he is, you know, 50 years later, whatever however long that was ago. 
Oh my god! Putting a dagger through the hearts of the badgers. That was a crusher. Go, going badger hunting. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know with where. a gun. Yeah, I mean they're terrible. They're shoot uh, that to was, kill. That's one of the worst losses I think Wisconsin's ever had. It has to be just awful. Mm. Yeah, was that a bunch of penalties or something like that? Or wasn't it like know. a fumble? Didn't uh... uh-huh. <laughs> there you go. This is a sports they, they, show, huh? Yeah. Well, they should have won show. by fifty. I that's it shouldn't. Yeah. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna go back to baseball real quick. But uh, the only reason why I would have skipped this if it was anything else, but I know you're gonna enjoy this. Gene. Oh, okay. Landlords John and Mary uh, Valentino, who are quote unquote based in Pennsylvania. This is from Deadspin, by the way. Rented Theo Upstein. Oh, Upstein, yeah, yeah, right. And, and his yeah. family, their 3,595 foot square square foot million dollar home in ritzy Paradise Valley. Have you, Arizona, yeah. have you yeah. been to Paradise Valley, Jim? Yes, it's right. It's where the Cubs are. It's uh, where, where you the slept Cubs... in your car on the sidewalk. Yeah, then, well, I mean, I'm sure I because I've been to Mesa so many times. It's right near the Cubs training facility. Yeah. In um, all right, so ooh, very bright. Uh, all right, so uh, let me keep on going. So Paradise Valley for the I'm not, not I don't know Flagstaff very well, Gene. Oh, what's so. near Phoenix? I mean, sure. F- Mesa is right outside Phoenix. Yeah, that's where the Cubs have their training. So that's where the home was that got infiltrated with scorpions. But it's uh, well, a he said, he said thing. I was going to, uh, I just fixing the brightness. Well, Gene. Yes. Uh, million dollar home in Ritzy Paradise Valley for the duration of Cubs spring training in 2015, according to Epstein. Soon after the family moved in, they discovered dog urine stains throughout the house. But ultimately, that problem was nothing compared to a nightmare infestation of Arizona bark scorpions, mm. which poses an active threat to the safety of Epstein's two young children and small dog. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so the Epstein's bounced a couple weeks early, skadoodled on the rent. Be, be, be warned, uh, Cubs players. That, that, this uh, is the kind of guy, no. Theo, uh, you know. Wait a second. He'll cut bait. No, wait a second. He'll bounce. Cut his losses. Get out. Get out of town. Theo wouldn't Ask do Boston. Bad. He must have had a good reason. Talk to oh. the Red Sox. Hey, the Red Sox ran him out of town. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they're pretty much suing each other, counting suing. Theo is saying the, 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 the urine stains everywhere and scorpions, crazy scorpions. The house owners are saying the uh, Epsteins destroyed their pad with mm. piss everywhere and dog and blah, all this, all this stuff. Uh, Gene, you, re- you you just started doing Airbnb. Yes, we uh, had our first customer this weekend, and luckily he didn't pee on the floor. Well, Gene, the question to you is, would you rent out to Theo Epstein? Yes. His family? He, he, I'd give him the family discount, too. <laughs> He's welcome. And we have a big house. Yeah, we have, uh, we have uh, me and my sister are doing it, and, and uh, we have a new, we have another customer this week for four days, and then next week. Yeah, wow, four days. Right. Who the hell is going to Iowa for four days? I, this and woman wants house? to bring her kids to Dubuque because that's where she grew up, and she wanted to show them where she grew up. I guess oh, that's fun. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Where is she from? Like, uh, she lives in Tennessee. And then the oh, guy shit. next week is bringing, well, like Tennessee a little bit. Uh, yeah, and then the guy next week's bringing his daughter. I don't know <laughs> what her day. He lives in Texas, but I'm not sure why he's. You, come, but he's going to be there five days, I think. Jesus, good yeah. lord. Yeah, busy. Although. Uh, you know, I'm I'm managing from afar. Me and my sister are, are we're not on site uh, managers. You got property managers? Yeah, we have someone gotcha. helping us out. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. All right, Gene. Well, we're gonna move over to uh, the National Football League. Oh my gosh, the Packers are so good. I wait. That game wasn't on. Oh yeah, I thought that game would be on for sure. Well, the game was not on. Yeah, in because Los Angeles. I, in L.A., we always get the crappy Chargers in the and who well, we got the we Rams get? playing Atlanta, oh, which was a Rams huge game. blowout. That's right, and they could not change it because it's uh, L.A. Yeah, and then and then, and then at one CBS. o'clock, the whole country got the Bears. I want to watch Bears New Orleans. We got Seattle and oh, Tennessee. No, Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore. So that was a good yeah. game. I, I, I yeah, I know it's fine, but I didn't watch. I wanted to give. I didn't watch Scott the Bears game, so. Bears. Uh, you did not want to see the Bears game, Gene. You, no. The, the, Fox, I've been the NFL to, did you a favor. I've been listening to enough uh, Chicago sports radio. 
Wow, it is off the rails. But the Packers. All right, well, let's do one thing at a time here. Okay. So uh, first, uh, you know, we, last time we did our show, the the Packers had just beaten the uh, Lions oh, on a so couple good. of contro- controversial yeah. flags. Right. Well, Gene, uh, by ESPN.com, billboards have popped up in the Detroit area showing a referee wearing a cheese head hat <laughs> and jamming a fist into his chin. I live with Detroit. I mean, it sucks, of course. Gene, uh, you ever felt so mad after a loss that you're going to pay $10,000 to put up a billboard in uh, protest? N- uh, no, I, I wouldn't. I, I, I'd, I'd say no. Not, not even in 84 against the Padres? Oh, my gosh, that one hurt. Or how about uh, the Bears versus uh, Payne Manning? Yeah. How about a billboard of Payne Manning in Indianapolis? You 2003. Ever, you ever when, thought of that? Uh, yeah. When 2003 and the Cubs lost. No, I, I'm fine. I'm trying to be a good sportsman. Steve Barman? Yeah. When when things go wrong, i just like, okay, well, that sucks. Let's move on. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, there's more to life than uh, your football team. Well, not really. Football but, team. I don't know. It's disappointing uh, still, but. Billboard, you, you Gene. The day, and by the way, the day after the game. Yeah. So, you know, that was an overnighter job, you know? Mm. I, Gene, I think someone is drapping. Uh, I'm sorry. I think someone is drinking some tap water from Flint. <laughs> they Got some crazy people over there. They still haven't fixed that. What is wrong with Michigan? <laughs> yeah, how about you just. Uh, we got plenty of water in Wisconsin. We'll, we'll sell you some water. Yeah. And by the way, you're by a fucking bunch. Three, you're surrounded by three lakes, by the way. Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Gene. I you're mean, watching a phone no, that is no, buffering. No, okay, so no, you can't pay. I'm just saying, feel free to I, pay attention to the show. I talked to someone about the water in Michigan. And I just can't believe they can't figure it out. That's all. You got three lakes around surrounding you. Your your goddamn uh, peninsula. <laughs> I know something's wrong with Michigan. Corruption or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, incompetence, perhaps. Y- yeah, incompetence. All right. So, uh, all right. Oakland at Green Bay. Uh, Gene, Derek Carr is not a good quarterback, Gene. Oh, is he? I've, he's been good this year, but I've he, seen yeah. footage of him. He's not a good quarterback. He missed a lot of throws. Well, he, this year he's been good, but then yesterday, Packers defense is good. He, he's better. At, he's better at the dinking and the dunking. Yeah, not so much the uh, flying and the scoring. Mm. And uh, you know the the Raiders uh, was looking pretty tough. It was a pretty close game yeah. in the beginning. And they're actually, uh, you know, going down the field to go up by four uh, at halftime. And then their car ran for the end zone and uh, tried to outstretch the ball with his arm oh, to get in. Oh, that old play. And the ball, he let, he let go of the ball. It crossed oh, the end zone line and, it's and out of bounds, and it was a touchback for the Packers. If you did that for the Patriots, Belichick would cut you. That's, yeah, it that, doesn't, doesn't fly. That's such an overrated play, and and Derek Carr knew it. You just can't do. You got yeah. That happened. You see it happen Derek, so you, often. You ain't Michael Vick, all right, Derek. Right. You're oh. Derek Goddamn Carr, okay? Yeah. Hmm. And uh, so then the Packers went down the field and scored a touchdown. So that's that's basically a 14 point swing. So, uh, we're gonna say, oh yeah, yeah, Aaron Rodgers. Fantastic! I had him in per, per, fantasy. I finally won oh, a game yeah. because of did him. Did he get you like fifty points then, or yeah? What he threw a per. I think you couldn't do a better. You couldn't get more. You couldn't do, get more from a quarterback because he had a perfect game. He had a perfect QB rating. And threw six. Didn't he throw six touchdowns? No, five. He, five, he oh, threw he five and one, then ran, ran in for ran six. For yeah. So he doesn't. That one guy stole Flynn. Johnny Flynn. What's that guy? He stole through backups. Remember a few years ago when he threw for six? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt Flynn. Yeah, and he yeah, got Matt that Flynn. huge contract. Yeah, should have yeah, kept Rodgers in the game and maybe uh, try to break that record. Yeah. Get that guy off the record books. But, wow. Perfect passer rating, Gene. That's amazing. Perfect passer rating. He's Just remember good. that. He's, man, if their offense gets rolling, woof. Yeah, they're going to be uh, so six and one. Pretty, pretty good looking team. They we'll, just got to go now. They go to Kansas City, and then they go Kansas City. Then they come out and play the Chargers, which should be a home game for the. Yeah, Packers. I look for tickets. Already. I think the cheapest tickets are like five hundred dollars. It's crazy. Right. That that's going to be nuts. Yeah, all that's right. Those going to be tough tickets. Let's go. Let's go to Detroit and Michigan really quick. Minnesota. Uh, yeah, Minnesota. There you go. Too many. All M's. right. Talk about Michigan earlier. 
Uh, yeah, it was a close game. The first half, 21-21, and then Michigan, I say it again. Wow. Minnesota took over, and their defense stopped it. Uh, whatever. Matthew Stafford. Was he not good? I didn't see any of this game, but Minnesota's kind of rolling, too. Uh, Kirk Cousins, Gene, apparently has the uh, best passer rating overall for the season. That's that's for as much crap as he gets. That's pretty. That's something you wouldn't really guess. Right? Gene, pass, pa- passer rating, over, over overrated statistic. Right. Overrated. Right. Who cares about that? It's for Aaron Rodgers. When he has a perfect passer rating, yeah. it's very important. Yeah. It's very important. Well, these road games are going to get tough because the Packers, four of the next five are on the road. And, yeah, these games, boy, the division is so good. I think oh, they're looking good. Oh, they can go on the road. All right. Uh, and then New Orleans versus the Bears. That was huge. You, weren't you disappointed in how bad the Bears were? Uh, yeah, they look like the third string quarterback. I think I may have oh stolen my this God. from. Uh, you want to talk about panic uh, because people just keep seeing Deshaun Watson and Patrick McCone or Patrick. Uh, Mahomes. Yeah, Mahomes. And uh and in Trubisky. Wow. Just he and they threw the ball fifty four times. Fifty four. Well I think I think they said like their first ten uh drives they had eighty five yards, so they averaged eight point five yards per drive. Oh my gosh. Awful. They only ran the ball seven times the whole game. They're terrible. Yeah, like isn't that <laughs> Isn't that something you should do when uh, your quarterback is coming back from a dislocated s- yeah. shoulder? And on top of that, he's been terrible anyway. He's oh boy. What? I mean, what? What is Matt Nagy think that he's like outsmarting everyone? Like, I don't oh, know. It, they're it, gonna expect us to run the ball. I'm it, gonna have Trubisky keep it, throwing. It's crazy. He's he's very lightly regarded. He, he is uh, not re- offensive genius, Gene. Oh, Matt Nagy. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Uh, this, this is the second year, or is this his first year? Second year. Second year. Next year, th- next week, the Chargers come to Chicago, and uh, that is a must win. Is he is he going to be a, the first coach that gets fired no, the season he, after he he's was, been in the playoffs? He was the coach of the year last year. <laughs> I know that. So is this going to be the first time? Hey, Trubisky guy has gone from the coach fired. of the year Trubisky, to Trubisky. Uh, he's the one that might get fired. No. Uh, Wow, it's a mess. I mean, I understand you've spent so much to get this guy, but at one point the Saints were missing a bunch of their good guys. I don't know. It's it's already a mess. It's gonna it could get ugly in Chicago. So, are you been listening to uh, Chicago radio yes. and stuff? Yes. It's what, been wh- Chicago. what is the uh, what's the Panic. thoughts? The, uh, disgust. The fans are all. This one guy called in today and he's like, <laughs> "I'm the biggest optimist in the world, but this team, I can't watch them." <laughs> He's like, he was at the game yesterday. No, people are really panicked. And they're upset that uh, Nagy keeps saying, yeah, we got to balance the run. And he threw 54 times. He had him throwing 54 times and only running seven. And they, oh, it's a mess. Yeah, it's like. And uh, their defense got beat up, too. This is two games in a row. Uh, Khalil Mack? Yeah, not so much. Mack truck? Uh, no. Mack truck uh, no. got no gas. No, no gas. <laughs> I don't know. It could go south. This this season could get away. Well, we'll see. Maybe they'll bounce back next week. <laughs> but the division's good, so I don't know. Yeah, you guys are screwed. Yeah, but Bears might are screwed. be in trouble. All right, and then we got a little odds and ends oh, okay. for the NFL. Uh, but the division's great. So, right. Jane, a, a fan punched Miles Garrett of the Cleveland Browns in the face downtown Cleveland. Oh, that's not While uh, the defensive end was sitting in his car, the guy said, like, hey, let's take a uh, pick. Let's take yeah. a selfie or whatever. And the fan cold cocked him. Oh. Well, Gene, they identified the fan, quote, unquote, the fan. Yeah. Joey Boza. <laughs> Joey Boza. <laughs> He gets around, doesn't he? Joey Boza. <laughs> <laughs> Who's? <laughs> yeah, well, am I there supposed to say something? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who? Uh, no, you're supposed to say who is the fan? No, oh, the, who is the fan? The fan that punched Miles Garrett in the oh, face. Oh, who's the fan that punched Miles Garrett in the face? <laughs> Joey Boza. Oh, you don't say. Joey Boza. Wow, he sure gets around. Those jokes are uh, a little tougher than they look. Yeah. Yep. All right, and then uh, Gene, we're, let's let's look ahead. Let's let's preview Week Eight Ooh. of the NFL. 
big week. Uh, I know the Bears are playing the Chargers. Chargers are a mess too. Oh. And then Bears play the Chargers in Green Bay. No. Yeah. Or no, well, I'm sorry, in Chicago. Yep. Yep. And then Packers Sunday night football. It feels like uh, it feels like all these West Coast teams, like the Rams and the Seahawks, they're all playing these like early games. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Feels like the Chargers have played like 10 a.m. like five I games know. already. That's tough too. That's tough. They're they're very disappointing. So, and then uh, yeah, Bears got to win, but I have no I have no confidence in them really. Not too much. Uh, not very. All right. Much. So Bears at the ch- or you know Chargers at the Bears yeah. in the morning. Uh, I mean, the, how, how long are they going to let Trubisky play? I don't know. They, they, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they, I don't know. He Chase has Daniel. to. Mm. I mean, he has to have the GM down his neck saying, you got to play this guy. He's going to well, get yeah, better. Yeah, I mean, get better. the GM drafted him. To, oh, my gosh. Just, are they going to admit defeat and just say, like, hey, we, no, that was the biggest screw-up well, probably right. of all time? Matt Nagy's like, hey, dude, I didn't trap him. I got here after. But the GM, wow, he's taking some heat. Yep. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I bet it was someone else above the GM even probably told him because I think even I a GM would so. be like, why would I take this guy? Take the stiff. Mm-hmm. All right, Giants are at the Lions. Oh, was, Lions a, probably yeah. bounce back on they this one. Should be. If, they, if they lose to the Giants, yikes. SOS. Shit out of luck. SOL. All right. Redskins at the Vikings on wow. Thursday night. Kirk Cousins. Redskins may be the worst team of all. They might be. There's some bad teams. Yeah, they're one and six. But they're just terrible. Um, I think uh I think the Redskins may have a upset here. I think they may have an upset. Wow. Uh, you know, Viking Vikings are always this team that never shows up sometimes, right, for these uh, so. games. Yeah. Sometimes oh, yeah, they, they had a huge up. upset last year when Buffalo beat them. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay. I don't think so, though, but I'll go. You can go. Yeah. That's what I predict. Yeah. And then uh, what we got? We got the Browns at the Patriots. That's Sunday afternoon. Oh, my God. Patriots Browns. are whooping up on the Jets right now. So Browns are, yeah. They're, they're, that's another huge, wow, so disappointing. Bengals at the Rams. Bengals are terrible disappointing. Oh, that's in London too, right? Because it's, oh, it? it's 10 a.m. Oh, okay. Yeah, I believe so. All right, Cardinals, blah, blah, that doesn't matter. Um, all right, and then Packers at Chiefs. I'm going to be in Vegas, so uh, I'm all over the Packers. Chiefs will be, fi- oh, maybe not. It'll be pretty close. Well, it's uh, pretty unfortunate that uh, Patrick Mahomes dislocated his kneecap. Yeah, his that was tough. I, uh, I think I was coming back. Or, no, maybe I was playing. Because what? This happened on Sunday Night Thursday. Football? Thursday Night Football, right? And yeah, I, okay. I saw it. And you're like, what are you doing running that guy? Like, I don't know. Well, it's, He's a QB too <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen a quarterback get hurt on a QB sneak. So all these I, people saying, like, how yeah, can you do that? I guess it, so. They do okay. it every single day. All right. Okay, I take it back. The guy just landed funny on him. Yeah. He probably just couldn't move yeah. his you know, his knee yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I was coming back from work because, uh, you know, I'm not going to go to a bar and spend money at a bar to watch Chiefs. Uh, who, who, uh, Broncos, right? It was right, Broncos, right? Right, right. And uh, I come back and uh, fuck some some guy uh, Matt Moore, that, right? That's the quarterback. Oh yeah, was yeah, it Matt Moore? Is Matt Moore the other? I don't. He, he, Moore. I think it's Matt Moore. Right. Yeah. And then Matt Moore is uh, behind center. I'm like, what? Did something happen to Mahomes? Mm. And uh, yeah, so they. Sh- I saw the replay. I'm like, what? He got hurt on a QB sneak. I guess they showed him uh, putting the knee back in place. I didn't. I don't. I'm not. I, I, I don't didn't, watch these replays. From yeah, his I didn't injury, either. So, uh, I didn't watch it either. But uh, yeah, he, apparently it's not too bad. No ligaments are torn. He doesn't have to have surgery, and uh, he'll be back in about three weeks. It's just a shame that he's not going to be. Uh, yeah, that's playing a great, against the Packers. That's a great matchup, though. Packers the way they're playing, and they'll have a lot of fans in Kansas City. But that's going to be good. Yeah, yeah. that would have been like a 56 point game. Wow. A piece, 56 yeah, points Yeah, that's going to be pretty great. Pretty great. 49-56, one of those yeah. games. So, yeah. Oh, well. It happens. Keep it rolling, Packers. you got to go on the road. Packers got to go on the road now and win. Super Bowl. We'll see you guys in the Super We'll see you at Mahomes in the Super Bowl. How about that? Oh, that would be so cool. That would be great. I'll take that one. All right. Well, Gene, I think uh Yeah, and I'd I like to I, I dedicate this to my nephew. Hey, he was named my nephew Connor, my brother's son. Uh yeah, he was named Golfer of the Year in Nebraska. 
for the fall. Yeah, pretty well, great. Congrats. He's a phenom. It's pretty he's good. Going into, what what like college is he going to? No, he's, you know he's, he's only he's in eighth grade. So well, tell him to come to California. He's going to get yeah, paid. Yeah, hopefully he'll get paid if he goes to yeah. California. Pretty great. Stanford. Yeah. Follow in uh, Tiger's he footsteps. Keeps it up. Play at Pebble Beach. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so cool. Practice at Pebble Beach. Yeah. Like, yo, this is our pre- – like, no, nah, I don't really feel like playing Pebble Beach. I play like a million times in college. Mm. That's what Tiger says, right? By the way, apparently the Tiger Woods, Tory, uh, Rory, Rory, McRoy thing happened yeah. in Japan last night. Oh. Apparently it was pretty bad. What did he do? You could watch it on paper. It was like a uh, Phil and uh, Tiger. Oh yeah, skins yeah, game. That's right. Yep. Matches a game. Yeah. There you go. Little little uh, sports. Thank you. At the end of the mm-hmm. show. All right. I guess I got to do the music now. Give me one second. All right. So for uh, Gene Steichen. Let's get a bunch of victories this week. My name is Chris Stotts. It's been the Midwest Sports go Show. Go Bears. Go Pack. We'll go see you Browns. guys next week. Go. Uh, Uh, badges, maybe. No, I'm really looking for a house.